Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today I have really, really good news because I was at work doing work and then I have received an SMS from the Skattewerket. So what that means is my ID card is ready to get picked up and that only one week after I was in Umeå. Amazing, right? Well, most of it is amazing. So I received the SMS like, I don't know, not even at 10 a.m. this morning. And I was like, awesome, let's pick it up today. Maybe we can do the banking thing. Then I checked the times when they are open and exactly on this day, they are closed due to changed opening times. I don't know, like something was there why they have to close on Monday. But usually they are not closed on Monday. So I don't know, of course, on that day, when I can pick it up, they are closed. And then I was thinking about it and I was a bit curious because how do they know my ID card is able to get picked up at the office in Ernst's week when nobody is working there or they are closed. So of course, I guess like somebody is still there realizing, hey, okay, you can pick it up, but still they are not officially open today. So it's fine because tomorrow, my last day, um, before I go to Germany for a few days, I will do all those things. So tomorrow I will pick up my ID card, I will go to a bank, and I also thought about it and I made my decision to which bank I will be going. It's going to be Lenz Verschäckringer Banken or is it? Yeah, I think it is called like this. I always confuse it with the um, insurance thing. I'm sorry, but I think it is Lenz Verschäckringer. And I had basically Nordea as my second option. However, I think I told you in one of the videos, one of my colleagues tried to open a bank account with them having a bank ID, which is like the online identification, which you only get when you already have a bank account in Sweden. So he has Swedish ID, person number and bank ID. And Nordea in Ernst Week told him, you need to go to the police, get a citizenship ID, like a national ID, which he cannot get because he's not from Sweden. And then the police gave him basically a letter that told the bank, hey, what you're telling him is crap, you have to make him a bank account. And just because of this knowledge that I have from the Nordea um, office branch here, I was like, nope, if they tell me the same thing, I don't even want to try. Let's go to Lenz for Schäckringer. I already hear at least good things when you have an ID. So I hope it's going to work out. It was, of course, not my first option, but yeah, sometimes you just have to take what you need in the beginning and then maybe when I yeah, waited a few months, I can then switch to Scandia Banken because the big um, advantage that I saw with them is that they have a Visa card instead of a MasterCard. And I think Visa is way more common around the globe than MasterCard, but yeah, we will see. So that is the good news upcoming tomorrow. Now let's talk about, well, not a bad news, but still a very annoying thing at work today. I really feel like that a lot of time, working time, is actually not lost, but spent on things that are on purpose made difficult. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's just say our company has a very strict firewall, like protecting a lot of the things, which is a smart thing to protect, you know, like... Don't let anybody just like, I don't know, copy the whole computer, back up, do weird things with the internet. I understand that. But due to this complicated regulations, you sometimes just don't understand what the solution is to certain problems, like to create certain rules that allow the firewall to accept certain processes. It's, it's so complicated that... For example, today, I really lost at least an hour to two hours figuring out how to solve a problem that would not exist in the first place if you would not have those 
very, very strict mechanisms. And I was like really thinking about at what point is it worth for the company to basically lose money on your people that try to figure out your own made confusing system. And I was like, like in the end I get paid, but I get paid for doing basically nothing <laughs> because I wanted to do something. And then I was struggling on this problem, talked to other people. They showed me some solution in the end. It was a very easy solution, but nobody basically knew about it or it was not written down anywhere. Those things sometimes just confuse me a bit, but it is not like a bad thing, but it's just, I don't know, a bit depre not depressing. What is it? It kills the mood in a certain way, the working mood, the working spirit, when things like those throw you off. Well, and that is it for today. Tomorrow, oh, I'm really, really looking forward. Maybe I can finish this chapter and get a Swedish bank account. That would be a dream. <laughs> okay, and with that said, it is time to say goodbye. Have a good one. Bye-bye.